everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. This is my second time trying to record this because every time that I kept trying to do it, um, my boyfriend would make a very inappropriate noise on Discord and he can see me right now, um, but I muted. So hopefully I can just get through this without um, any interruptions. Uh, but you can see I painted the floor for a little bit there, but then I decided to just kind of like take it away. But it did help in the long run with actually trying to build something. <laughs> um, I, for any of you guys who didn't know, I did just come back from Florida and girl, it was cold. It was freezing. Um, but never mind that. It, I, I, I felt like I, I was missing something and what I was missing was warm tropical weather. So <laughs> you best know as soon as I got into The Sims, right then and there, I went to Solani and I just built a nice tropical paradise and it was definitely inspired by the place that I went and it is so pretty and so relaxing. It's not big, it's not a huge build, um, but it definitely looks like a little cute resort that you would go to um, and I just really liked it and I wish I could go somewhere warm because I went to Florida, don't get me wrong, I'm so happy when I was so blessed to go, but I was freezing my kahunas off, girl. Like, like I said before, like when I got there the first day, there were frost on the cars, there was like cold, you could see your breath. I'm like, girl, am I still in Canada? I thought I was still in Canada, but no, I was, <laughs> I was in Florida and I just want to go back to like somewhere warm and as soon as we actually got back um my boyfriend and i we kind of just like looked um online and we were like okay let's just like look for a place um that we can go that's we know that's gonna be warm and it's just gonna be a nice trip for just you and me that's that's what he said so we just looked online and we looked at like um Mexico, which I love, Florida, Mexico, the Bahamas, Bali, I don't know. I've been wanting to go to Bora Bora. Girl, if if any of y'all have ever wanted to go somewhere with your significant other and you want to just like be on the water and just like be surrounded by crystal blue waters and it is it's just you want somewhere that is so pretty and just so away from everything go to Bora Bora girl it's just B-O-R-A and that twice and it is just so pretty you guys actually the people that went to the trip with us in Florida actually wanted to go on a cruise next which I think would be really fun but I don't know whether or not like my boyfriend and I would go on a trip first and then go with the guys or go with the guys and then a trip first I'm not I'm not sure but I would really just like to go somewhere else <laughs> but the guys say that they want to go on a cruise ship maybe and you know Royal Caribbean is lovely I love it even the Disney um, um, the Disney cruises are incredible even if you are like a little older it is so amazing and so worth it to go even when you're older um, and, the, and, the, and the shows are incredible on like anything anywhere you go so I there's just so much to choose from um, I probably wouldn't go in carnival if any of you guys are it's mostly for like parties it's for college kids it's for and adults that just want to have like a good time I get it and I actually met like a really good friend on that cruise ship and they were from Texas and even to this day it's been over a decade and I still talk to them uh, but you know I've had I had a bad experience on carnival there was a night where my mom and I were actually in our room and there was a incident with a room that was actually above us and they switch kind of spilt in our room and uh, there were some some issues and it was really gross and needless to say I will never ever 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 go back to um, carnival even though <laughs> I know it probably won't happen all the time, but it happened and the way that they went about things weren't the best. 
Um, so it's it's just not in the cards for me with that. Um, but I love Disney. Okay. <laughs> Go on Disney. Their private islands are probably like what I was always so excited for. <laughs> like it's so nice. Um, but they even have like a little area for stingrays. And don't worry, like it's all kind of like blocked off, but there is like a little space that has some stingrays and they cut off like the edge of the stinger. So like obviously you don't get stung. But what you can do is you can actually feed them, which is really neat. And there was this one time I remember I remember I was really young and I was with my mom and we were at one of the islands and we were going to go feed the stingrays and what you have to do is like you put your put the food like in between the the pointer and like the middle finger and you kind of just like hold it there and then the stingray will swim up on this platform that you have your hand on and it will kind of just like suck up the food and then just keep going well <laughs> something happened when it was actually going on because you know you were in a group with people okay so you weren't just alone and while we were doing it there was a lady with us and she did that and she had her finger with the food and the stingray started to like swim up and she was really nervous but like the instructor was like don't worry like keep calm they're friendly they won't hurt you like don't worry and she's like okay okay and as as soon as she has her hand up there and then the stingray comes around and you know the stingray comes up gets the food but doesn't leave and then all you hear is a ah, get it off me <laughs> the stingray started sucking on the woman's thumb <laughs> like it wanted more <laughs> that was so funny to me and that sounds awful but <laughs> I, she was okay like they don't have teeth like the guy was literally just like sucking on her thumb like he he just wanted more and after all like she didn't like after everything happened she just kind of like moved her hand and then it got out she was she was over exaggerating like she was fine um but that happened and I felt really bad for the lady but like she was cool she was fine it also definitely didn't help that my mom got an ear infection when it came to the dolphins in uh, Mexico because apparently when we were swimming with them which you can do if you like pay for that kind of thing which is amazing I completely recommend it um just just don't bring my, my mom don't bring my mom because she won't like it because she got an ear infection because of the poop in the water I guess with the dolphins and it was just really bad it was really bad for her um but dolphins are so pretty and it's not their fault like they they gotta they gotta go you know and unfortunately sometimes the water that you're swimming in is their toilet bowl and unfortunately my mom got some bad stuff just stuck in her ear and she had an infection for a while she's okay now but it definitely was annoying for her and i don't blame her but i don't think anything really bad has ever happened to me on a cruise ship before um or anything like that i think there was one time though i did get lost on the ship and my nana was like she was crying like hysterically because she couldn't find me and usually what happens is like when the parents go on a cruise ship like with their kids they always have like a little area for them to play in um and usually it's like a whole like a whole space for for people from like really young to like kind of older and stuff like that and it is really neat i think it's on every cruise ship and unfortunately i was on a really big ship and it was really easy to get lost and I guess we brought my Nana the time that we went and I got lost and what I think what happened is I the place that I was supposed to be in was for the younger kids right but unfortunately the room was connected to a like bigger kids room and the instructors were like no you have to stay in here and I was like, no, I'm not supposed to be in here, even though I was supposed to be in that room. <laughs> and I just thought the bigger room was cooler, so I wanted to stay in there. And um, 
my Nana apparently was supposed to come pick me up and I thought that she forgot about me even though for some reason I thought she was gonna come pick me up in the bigger kids area when initially she was supposed to come get me in the younger kids area and I got confused and I think my Nana also got confused because I'm not entirely sure if she knew what one to get me at <sighs> But it was a whole thing. I was so young, I can barely remember. But I remember like walking through the halls and trying to figure out like where everyone was. And I was crying and it was so bad. And I ran back to the room and the people that cleaned the room knew me, like knew my name. And uh, they were like, Jamie, what's wrong? And I was just like, I can't find anyone. Like I can't find my Nana. I can't find my, my mom. And he goes over and he's like, he's like, Jamie, your Nana's um, with so-and-so she's she's looking for you um and I was like oh shoot okay so we had to like go run after and go find her because someone that was working with that guy knew where my Nana was and Nana was crying and my mom was annoyed because <laughs> my Nana was crying and she couldn't find me and oh my gosh and my <laughs> my mom was just like Nana like mom like <laughs> How is Jamie gonna get lost on a cruise ship? She's not gonna walk off the ship. Like, you can find her. Like, she's not gone. Like, ugh. It was a whole thing. But if you guys have ever been on a cruise ship, please let me know and let me know what one you went on and, like, what you did. I'm just... I haven't been on a cruise ship in a really long time and I would love to be back on one again because it is so much fun and if you're afraid of motion sickness or anything like that, you barely feel it, girl, okay? You will be completely fine. If there are like some nights that are really, really like crazy, then yeah, you might feel a little bit of rocking and then as soon as you get off the ship, you kind of walk, you kind of walk like you feel still like you're, you feel like you're still on water. And that's kind of like what you feel like as soon as you get off a ship if you've been there like quite a while. Um, but other than that, like it is just, it's a really fun experience. I think the first time I went, I almost pooped my pants because I was on a roller bed. And for some reason, nobody decided to lock my wheel. <laughs> this was the first time I was ever on a cruise ship too and we had like a balcony too and oh girl my bed was moving all over the room and I was scared out of my mind and it was the middle of the night there were like cups falling from the bar that was in our room too and I was like oh my god this is how I'm gonna die I'm gonna crash through the glass and then I'm just gonna get right off the ship and that's how I'm gonna go like oh my god and I didn't want to be fish food but clearly I wasn't too concerned because I don't remember getting off the bed and I was just like I think I was suffering the entire night and I think I heard my sister laugh too. My sister is always such a menace when it comes to like nighttime stuff. She she would always steal the covers when we were kids. Like she would do everything to like annoy me when it came to sleeping. Like I remember I think it was Christmas Eve. Right. Okay. And her and I, we were at my Nana's, so we had to share a bed and it was really, really freaking cold and I was freezing. So I noticed that Brittany likes to hog all of the covers. I'm not joking when I tell you we had like a king size bed and this girl was able to take every single last blanket and use it and curl up in a freaking burrito and then just like be there and I'm just like over there like shivering and I'm so cold and I like look over and I'm like Brittany Brittany like give me give me a blanket and she's just like <laughs> like she's laughing and she won't give me the blanket and I'm freezing I'm like oh you're such a menace <laughs> But like my sister and I are always so close and thankfully I haven't had to sleep with her um, in a really, really, really long time. So my sister doesn't have to steal <laughs> the blanket no more. No mas, no more. <laughs> So thank goodness, but I, I just can't do it. Apparently I kick a lot in my sleep too. Like when I'm on trips, my mom is just like, no, okay. We used to be able to sleep in the same bed, um, just because I felt better. <laughs> but ever since I was little and 
my mom slept with me for the first time. She was like, no, you're getting your own bed. And I was like, what? Why? And she's like, because she's like, I know you do karate. I knew, I know you do all this stuff, but my God, kid, you don't have to keep fighting me in your sleep. Like, holy jeez. <laughs> Apparently I was kicking her. I was like karate kid while I was sleeping. And I didn't even know it. Apparently I do it a lot and I feel really bad, but <laughs> if you like this video, maybe please consider it like commenting and subscribing and I will see you all later. Bye guys.